I'm Graham Roberts. Um, uh, I'm a jeweler, been a jeweler for 32 years. Uh, I've got my business in Stockport, my own business. Uh, I've been a teacher for about a year now. The project um, of the Olympics was given to us, obviously, and we uh, we use all the techniques that we, the traditional jewellery techniques uh, on on any of the topics that we we cover anyway. But uh, it's just a case of adapting them to uh, to to work with the Olympics. Obviously, the designs vary slightly. Where uh, there's a lot more vast topics to cover when you're making a piece of jewellery, which can cover countries. Uh, sports and everything, but uh, mainly it's the experience of uh, just de developing design. I'm Pam Morris and I'm a retired lecturer and um, I was looking to do a, um, a course in jewellery and I decided now I had a little bit more time um, and this was the one that I found. There are very few jewellery courses around actually and I was very pleased to have found this and Hazel Grove is fairly easy for me to get to. Um, so yes, and I came along here and it was a nice sort of intimate group. And I was very pleased, I like Graham the tutor. And it was one thing that I always worried about, the design element, you know, I thought you just had to think of a thing, draw it, and that was it. But he was showing us how a design can develop as you go along, and um, hence looking at the work, you can see from my initial drawings <laughs> to the end piece, you know, is quite different in a way. My name's Colin, and I'm Colin Leonard, and I live in Cheadle Hume. I'm retired, so I just want to learn. I wanted to do jewellery making, but I wanted to do more than, I didn't, so I joined course one and course two at the same time, so this is the second part, and uh, it's been great. It was a swimmer, and I just, I started off by making a swimmer, and then I had to put it in a circle, so that there's two, and then that is circle for the, with, with, with a swimmer on it. And then that was on the last course. And now this one I've made medals. Uh, what? Gold, silver and bronze. I'm Juanita and um, I'm a mother of two and I work at Stockport College. And I've come on the jewellery design course to try and do a bit more of a hobby that I really enjoy but don't get much time to do. I'm Jenny, I'm also a mother of two. Um, I live in New Mills and I make jewellery for a hobby I do sell a little bit as well um, and I'm part of a community arts group in New Mills where I sell my work and I've come to learn some new techniques and to meet some new people and we were given some um, designs really or some logos and um, which didn't look too inspiring at first <laughs> and then then we we'd ske we did sketches from them and developed them into a piece that we wanted to make. Um, and we've also each week we've done to practice different techniques we've used the Olympic theme to design some of the other sort of set pieces in the class as well. Yeah, I think we've learned quite a lot mm. and I think I've sort of learned about how much you can do in quite a short period of time as well which has been mm. good kind of quite very encouraging. Yeah. So. How good you really are. <laughs> 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 And um, thank you to Graham as well, he's been great. He's been great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been really helpful and mm. it's a really relaxed, lovely yeah. 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 It's full of it? very useful very friendly techniques people. as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's been great. I think, me personally, I am so enthusiastic when I can see them develop, develop it. I think the encouragement just uh, makes them want to do more. Try it, try it. I think you might surprise yourself. It's mm -hmm. it, it's just time to do something yeah. for yourself, isn't it? And you can relax and learn a lot of new stuff as well, whether it's for pleasure or, or to, yeah. you know, to learn a new career. And if you, you sometimes you're really, really tired and you think, oh, I can't do it. And, you know, or when I was booking Everyone. it, I was thinking, I can't fit it in. And you do, and you make the time, and you're really sort of pleased that you have done. I think that there comes a time when you realise you need to learn more. Once you get to know the people, it becomes enjoyable. And uh, it's amazing how, how one can 
make, even though you think you can't. You know what? It's it's unbelievable. And Graham is a very very patient kind uh, instructor. I think the jewelry is is a must for anybody who is interested in beautiful things. You know, and you remember, there's nothing that you can't make. If you see something, you just take it and you make it. You know what I mean? And that's what's so beautiful about it. It's great. If you've got the time, do it because it is. If you like doing practical things with your hands, it is very absorbing and you just get lost in doing. You've got to concentrate so much that uh, I do find the time just goes so quickly. It is really enjoyable.